loud. <laughs> Let's try that again. Did I break it? <sighs> Hello, fellow plant people. Welcome back if you're returning to my channel. If you're new, my name is Jen. I go by the Leafy Geek here and also on Instagram. Today, I want to show you something kind of special. Special for me, anyway. I have probably shown you a few tours in this room um, before, but I'm really interested in starting maybe kind of a new series that incorporates some of my design aesthetic um, and how I go about decorating a space with plants or, you know, how the plants frame the decor in the space um, in my home. So I thought I'd do just kind of a little mini series about that, about uh, me showing you different parts of my home where I'm really, really happy with just that balance of plant and other um, that incorporate um, into my design aesthetic for my house, for my home. So that's what we're going to do. And the reason I'm starting in my plant room today is because I have a new sleeper sofa in here. This was a spare bedroom. I have a two bedroom apartment. And obviously right now, I don't really have guests um, visiting my home and staying over. So that just kind of means that I had a huge, well, huge, it felt huge in the space. It was a full size bed, um, box spring mattress bed frame. And even though it's full size, this room is not huge. And so it took up a big chunk of the space. Uh, this room also happens to be the room I get the best light in, um, the best natural light summer and winter and everything in between. <laughs> so I really started, um, when I started my plant journey, I started moving a lot of my plants here, especially my high light loving plants, my Hoyas, uh, really, really seem to thrive in this room, in this space where the light comes in, um, where it does. It's a southwest western aspect window and they do great in here. So. It has since kind of evolved from a guest bedroom to a plant room slash den slash a relaxing space for me to be. Uh, so, you know, kind of the last step was getting that bed out of here. And now I have a, a sofa. It's a sleeper sofa. You'll see it um, as I film and narrate the video tour that I'm about to show you uh, of the space. And I'll kind of plan on going over some of the um, DIY projects that I put together in here um, to accommodate my plants. And also, you know, I'm a big advocate of reusing and thrifting and repurposing old materials to create new. So that's, that's really my design aesthetic. I don't know that I really have a style per se when it comes to, de to decor. It's pretty, you know, a lot of natural materials, a lot of wood tones, um, white, um, pops of, you know, primary colors I tend to get a kick out of, so reds and golds and blues. Uh, then, you know, you add in the green foliage and you're just on a roll. Um, most of my plants are in either terracotta or a terracotta colored uh, pot. Um, or on the flip side, I've got a lot of white in my pottery for my plants. I also, you know, here and there I've found, you know, pottery pieces that I've really just appreciated and liked. Um, so some of those have a more varied color palette. But I do also, just looking around this room, see quite a bit of blue. Um, you know, not extensive. It's very, it's very terracotta and very white in here. Um, but that's, that's kind of the vibe. I can't wait to show you. So let's just get into the video. I have been dreaming of a space in my home I could escape to for both creativity and for relaxation. And I used to have that in one particular spot in my apartment, which has now become my home office ever since the pandemic and working from home became a necessity for my day job. So I was hoping to find that again in this space. My spare bedroom, a blank canvas when I moved in and the perfect room for my growing collection of Hoyas. 
It is now close to finished, and as you can see, the plants have dominated the space. But there were ways I could add comfort and character to this room, even in the company of nearly 100 plants. First up, the sofa. Ah, the sofa. It adds so much where the bed did not. And the view from the sofa is that much more enjoyable now. Panning around, you have walls of plants, floor to ceiling, and it is quite magical. Although, something seems to be missing here. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I could put a coffee table there. Much better. Perfect. So this coffee table is a simple construction of an old wrought iron uh, gardening side table or outdoor plant stand and a shelf that I had in storage. Took it out of one of my closets. Instant coffee table. But you know what might make this a little bit better? I think you do. Perfect. Maybe one more? I think so. Looking good. I think it would be good to show you the full effect from the doorway. So I will flip the view around right now. It really has taken the final steps toward becoming an actual den. A place to hang out and to get cozy. And there's still so much to look at in here. Of course, what catches the eye is the large white IKEA shelf, bursting with epiphytes. Under the LED strip grow lights, new growth continues, from the small Hoyas to the jungle cacti, sharing their shelves with pottery, brass, and sparkly things. With its glass shelves and white frame, it somehow blends into the wall, yet remains a wonderful centerpiece for the room. Directly to the left, two floating wooden shelves continue to draw the eye to the corner. While the light cords are currently somewhat of an eyesore, the two 1x4 planks of raw sanded cedar board will allow the smaller plants to cascade over and fill the empty spaces between. Below the cedar shelves, another repurposed shelving board becomes a stable, even space to rest several of my favorite Hoyas, plus one Dyskidia. The shelf is supported by these two reclaimed cubicle bookshelves, a trick I have repeated a few times in my home for an instant shelf. With storage containers that house filming equipment, plant supplies, extra hardware, and even some reading material. Close up on the reading material. You can see that I've thrifted wooden baskets and these decidedly not thrifted dollar store finds. And these ones from Target, still from the dollar section. I personally love the wood look, but I ran out of baskets. For this corner side table, I knew I wanted it to remain functional, at least to hold one beverage on a coaster. And I did want to incorporate plants in this corner as it's still somewhat of a blank canvas. I used heavy books to elevate the lamp and to add interest and put the plants on different levels. Books are really good in terms of adding that visual interest and I just love the combination of books and plants. I chose Hoyas that I knew would do relatively well in lower light, not low light, 
as they still receive ample bright indirect light from several sources. I also have incorporated this decorative antique mirror wall art and a quirky plant themed framed art piece to add some much needed interest in this corner. As many of us plant owners know, hanging your plants is the quickest way to free up shelf space and also add that instant indoor jungle vibe to your room. If you can't hang your plants from the ceiling, try your walls. The wall mounts here were made from leftover cedar board, sphagnum moss, and fishing line. Pausing to admire the linearis. Nice. And of course, this entire window shelf full of my Hoyas that are trellised on bamboo. They are the decor in this case. Again, this was a piecemeal shelf that I hobbled together with cubicle bookcases and a repurposed shelving board. Space in between we're still working out what's going to be there. Probably a floor plant. But books and plants are a winning combination every time. To be completely honest, I'm still working out what I want to envision for this little corner. Right now it houses a lot of my extra pottery, a lot of miscellaneous plant holders, <laughs> Not entirely sure it's aesthetically pleasing or relaxing to look at. Perhaps if I ever got a bi-orb, it would go in this corner. But for now, it's a few Hoyas and my humidifier. Did it get dark in here? Much better. Looking around this room, I realize that it's still quite full and the main emphasis is on plants. But I feel very fortunate that I get to spend time in here because there's always something new to see. And the plants that I have in here are placed in a way that makes them accessible. I can see every single plant. Wait a sec even when they're missing. I'll take care of that. There we go, much better. And mood lighting, of course, always helps a space every single time. It just adds that extra element of coziness. As we pan around to explore the room one final time, I just wanted to mention how well I remember the potential that I saw in this space the very first time I looked at it. Even when it became a temporary storage room, even when it was an unused spare bedroom for years, I saw new potential for it as my plant collection began to grow. And finally, I'm able to use this space the way that I once dreamed about. It really truly has become a place of retreat for me and also of inspiration. It's everything I want. It's everything I need. Thank you guys for joining me on my tour of my new and improved plant room. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these because I do have several spaces around my home that I'm pretty proud of. I like the vibe 
and I'd really like to share with you, even if they're just like mini videos here and there, not as long or extensive as this one. We kind of started with the big one uh, today just because of the sheer number of plants in here and there's a lot to look at. So let me know if you um, would be interested in seeing more um, design and plants uh, videos in the future. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to go ahead and subscribe or, you know, send me a comment. Give me a like or dislike, whatever. Just uh, let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thanks again. And until next time, enjoy your plants. Mm -hmm.